Today we're working on a 2013 Ford Explorer. We've had this vehicle about three years now. And we've had the same buzzing noise in this vehicle for three years. Um, not wanting to be too quick, we just kind of dealt with it, quite honestly. Now, I had a good friend tell me that it was possibly a blend door actuator. That turned out to not be the case. Um, I had replaced the one on the driver's side just yes, uh, two days ago. And by default, my head being as close to the dash as it was in doing that uh, chore, and it is a chore, it's deep, deep in there. Um, I I had to power the car up to get that blend door actuator to turn to match the, the blend door. If you've ever done anything like that, you, you know where I'm trying to go. Anyway, in doing so, that buzzing noise came back right away. Well, it never went away, so it was still there. Um, so I'm going to replicate that for you now. And this is a um, cabin temperature sensor. It's what allows the automatic temperature control to know what temperature it is in the vehicle and to adjust accordingly. Um, so I'm going to hear some buzzing. i got to turn the accessory power on. And I'll turn the count here. So if you can hear that... That tone will quit pretty quickly. That fan, if you're looking at the steering wheel, there's a turn signal lever. I'm sorry, wiper lever. And this vent right here, there's a fan in there that's pulling air in there. Hopefully you can pick up that sound. So I looked in there and then um, I noticed it was dirty. So I thought, well, what the heck. I'll blow it out with my air gun. And... That, that didn't do it. The, the motor is clearly what's making making the noise. So, I'm not a mechanic. Um, I do know how to fix lots of things. So, I'll tell you, first and foremost, don't make the same mistake I did. Which was to try and get to it from under the dash. Because you can't. There's no way. You're not getting. There's, there's just too much in the way to get up over on that side. Um, and get your hand up in there to where you need to be. So these panels don't have to come off. If you do need to get in that, you can get in there to get the blend door, which is that there's the beauty panel and then there's that metal panel. It's only, uh, what, six screws. The, the two that hold the plastic on are seven millimeter and then the four that hold that metal on are eight millimeter. And then you can, I say you can get right in there. It's, it's not easy. Um, so let me see if I can get some light for you. This, if you use, um, I've got a set of plastic pry tools uh, for getting door panels off and that sort of thing. So I use that to, to pry in here very gently. Use plastic ones, do not use metal. Um, this dash would not have taken that. It would have just tore it all to pieces. Um, let me back that up a little bit. So, work your way around. There's, there's, a, um, there's a clip here, one on this side, uh, one here, and then one on the other side. The one on the other side by the vent gave me a little bit of trouble. Uh, however, if you, um, if you work at it slowly, it, it can be done. But so as to not break anything, uh, you just want to go slow. I gotta adjust the wheel here so I can pull that out. There's two different model numbers on these and that's why I'm pulling this out today is to get the correct model number of what I've got so I can match it and replace it. So that pulls out and then, boom, done. Right there's the motor. There's just two clips um, that hold it in, one on either side and you can see the wiring harness is right there and that does plug in sorry i'm using my phone i don't have a camera or editing equipment or anything like that but i'm going to unplug it and i'm going to pull this bezel out and then pull that that little module out or sensor or whatever whatever you want to call it but i didn't see anything like this online anywhere um as a walkthrough or a tutorial um 
I hope the new motor on uh, online ran. It was just under fifty dollars, and for a quiet motor, that's going to be worth it to me. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out.